Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2020 Porsche 718 Cayman GT4, as well as learn about the features. Before we do, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. The new 2020 Porsche 718 Cayman GT4 is the Cayman for Purus, a sweet six-cylinder engine and GT3-derived chassis make Porsche's Cayman GT4 an ideal track weapon. It's a direct replacement for the first hardcore Cayman to come out of Porsche Motorsport, which was the 2015 GT4. The 2020 Porsche 718 Cayman GT4 gets a new front fascia with large air dams, a revised lip spoiler, new center air outlet, and side air curtains up front. Around back, there's a fixed, manually adjustable wing with integrated side plates and functional rear diffuser. Not readily visible is closed underbody paneling. All of this results in a 50% improvement in downforce compared to the old GT4. The new 718 Cayman GT4 uses a 4 liter 8,000 RPM board, stroked, and turbo free version of the 992 generation 911's 3 liter engine. Hitting the high notes requires new cylinder heads, valves, pistons, connecting rods, and crankshaft. The intake manifold with two resonance flaps is also new. The free breathing six cylinder makes 414 horsepower at 7,600 RPM and 309 pound feet of torque from 5,000 RPM to 6,800 RPM. That's an increase of 29 horsepower over the 2016 GT4, which made identical torque. The only gearbox paired to this engine is a six speed manual. Okay, let's jump into this build and price review of the very special, the new, uh, newly released. Uh, 2020 Porsche 718 came in GT4. A lot of horsepower, special engine. Uh, let's go through this website, check out the design, learn about the features, check out the exterior colors. Look at that gallery. We did check out some of the images in the gallery, but we didn't check out that many. Uh, here they're just showing us those beautiful seats. We can see the carbon fiber in those seats and the yellow stitching. You got the Sport Chrono package that they're showing here. And yeah, this is the, probably the hardest core version of the 718 did they make a, uh, a 718 Cayman that was more hardcore than than the GT4 I don't think so check it out here they're showing that uh, how the how the uh, 718 Cayman GT4 manages the air both above below around and all that there going over the wing coming out from the new diffuser they're talking about yeah it's pretty cool that car looks beautiful beautiful Speaking of beautiful, let's get an exterior walk around review uh, or walk around of the uh, 718 Cayman GT4. And while we're doing that, I'll tell you that uh, down in the description below, I have put a related build and price reviews. Uh, I've got quite a few uh, vehicles that uh, compete against the Cayman, like the BMW M2 Competition Coupe, uh, Alfa Romeo 4C with the Acropovic exhaust. I've done builds and prices on these vehicles. Uh, the Shelby Mustang GT500 uh, might be a little bit out of this car's class, but nonetheless, a very cool car. Make sure after you watch this video, you check out those links in the description below. So here we can see the 718 Cayman GT4 uh, has a starting price of $99,200. Like I said in the intro, this vehicle makes 414 horsepower, does 0 to 60 in 4.2 seconds, and it's got a top track speed of 188 miles an hour. Let's check out some of these exterior colors, shall we? Uh, they don't tell us the names of these exterior colors on this page, but once we get to the configurator, they will actually show us these uh, the names of these colors. They've got a yellow, they've got a red, uh, they've got a black, of course. They've got these primary colors. I think this color here is white. I don't think it's called chalk white. I think they do have a chalk white. Um, here's a blue, which looks really nice. A nice silver. Not sure what this special color is, but it's gorgeous. It's some shade of blue. Uh, and that might be the chalk white there. Again, like I said, once we get over to the configurator, we'll go through these colors again so we can get the exact names of these exterior colors. But we can see that there are four standard colors, there are three metallic colors, and there are two special colors. Let's go through these images real fast. Here's a nice shot of the rear diffuser. Uh, this picture gives a, very, a much nicer shot of the rear diffuser than the photo I showed in the intro. Maybe it's just the color. 
Uh, I don't know. Color the, uh, of the car that shows it. Uh, the interior looks very nice. It's all Alcantara in there. Uh, a little bit of leather. A little bit of leather around those seats. Obviously, those yellow seats that we saw up above with the yellow stitching, those are obviously the, the optional seats. Again, we see that man. We see the manual gearbox here. It's the only option for the uh, 718 GT4. All right, let's um, check these wheels. Let's check the wheels. All right, there's only one wheel option to be had. What about interior colors and materials like that? Hang on one second. Can we take a look at the interior? There's the interior. So here's the all black interior. I guess uh, here's uh, the black interior with the yellow, with a little bit of yellow. You got the yellow door pulls. And you've got the black interior with the red door pulls and the red piping, red stitching. So we've got all black. We've got it yellow, highlighted in yellow with the yellow stitching. I can even see the steering wheel has yellow stitching on it. And then, of course, we've got the red. Uh, which way will we go? I'm not sure yet. Uh, we'll think about it. Maybe we might go all leather. I, I just don't know how Alcantara wears over time. So maybe we might go with an all-leather setup. All right, let's quickly go through these gallery images for the 2020 Porsche 718 Cayman GT4. Obviously, by the way, they're showing these very glitzy, very uh, these very really uh, high-end, high-resolution, very studio photos. We're just going to go through these for, through these pictures and enjoy how beautiful the car is. Look at the sumptuous lines. Look, it's got the little GT4 stamping on the side there. Huge wheels. There's the shot of the fixed rear wing, which I'm sure they're highlighting. Here they're showing um, the interior of the 718 Cayman GT4, which certainly looks different than the interior we just looked at. Because, yeah, while that interior we looked at did show, like, you know, the contrast stitching, the one we looked at certainly didn't have, like, the yellow stripe in the center of the steering wheel. I didn't catch that. I didn't catch any stitching on the um, on the dashboard. But I could be wrong. But I'm thinking maybe that might be part of a package and or the other configurator just wasn't that detailed. Uh, that's a movie we're not going to watch. Here's a nice shot of the Cayman. They obviously like it in yellow. This one has the Sport Chrono package. Uh, after we go through these, this one has the upgraded seats. These were the seats I was talking about. The original seats we sh we first saw after the intro were these seats with the carbon fiber. These are obviously got to be the high-end seats, whatever they cost. Uh, I'm not going to say that we're going to get these seats. They're certainly more, more business-oriented, but I don't know if they're going to be more comfortable for your day-to-day -day driving. These seats just might get tiring. They just might get tiring. I don't know. Um, yeah, at any rate, after we go through these images here, we're going to go check out the features. They have quite a few uh, features for us to go through so we can actually learn about what makes a, a 718 Cayman GT4 a 718 Cayman GT4. Uh, here they're showing Apple CarPlay so we can see right off the bat we've got some Apple CarPlay action going here. So as far as I'm concerned, we got good technology. Here they're showing one under a very nice Porsche cover. Oh, they're actually showing one in red. I think I like it in red a little bit better. I think I like it in red a little bit better. Beautiful car though, and any wow! Did you see those wheels with the like the gold anodized wheels? Gorgeous, big old brakes, nice. Look at the lights; they look gorgeous. I don't know if they're standard. There's your little seatbelt that matches the contrast stitching, of course. Oh, here's one in black. They do make other colors that they're willing to show us. All right, so that's it, my friends. Let's actually go check out the features now. Okay, so check this out. They've got these tiles for features. So they've got the 718 Cayman GT4 concept, uh, design and aerodynamics, drive, which they're showing a picture of an engine hanging from some chains. Uh, we've got the chassis, the transmission, uh, wheels and tires, interior, safety, uh, Porsche exclusive manufacturer, navigation and entertainment, and then the chrono package and Porsche track precision app so we're going to go over these features and after we go over these features then we'll jump over to the configurator and actually build and price our 718 Cayman GT4 our 2020 718 Cayman GT4 okay so first up they want to tell us about the 718 Cayman GT4 concept I've taken the liberty to highlight some things so that way we can draw our eyes on what's most important so in in what they're telling us anyway so they tell us that the 718 Cayman GT4 is the perfect sports car for those who like to push the limits and for those who take fun seriously and they'd rather sit in a sports seat than a leather seat. A leather armchair, I should say. Uh, as we already know, this has that 4-liter uh, 6-cylinder engine. It's naturally aspirated. 
only comes with a manual transmission and there's a fixed rear wing we also know that this car has gt3 technology but they're getting more specific it's got gt3 technology for the chassis and the interior okay let's talk design and aerodynamics real fast so under the design and aerodynamics it's no it's no surprise that the gt4 has a lot of kit it's got a lot of skirts it's got the wings all that they say it's got a highly distinctive front lip spoiler this additional spoiler provides aerodynamic downforce on the front air on the front axle uh the central air intake on the front apron also optimizes aerodynamics and channels air through the air outlet in the front of the car uh it's got a new air intake grill uh it's got a honeycomb surface finish so it, it offers less drag however it still protects the radiator uh the vehicle it has a very low center of gravity the rear wing there's that single piece rear wing that provides downforce on the rear axle and then they tell us that that new diffuser that new diffuser uh has 40 percent more downforce than the previous model okay these are all things we know now we're over here talking about the drive talking about the engine really the performance of the engine we know that four liter engine six cylinders normally aspirated it revs to 8,000 rpm it makes 309 pound feet of torque it's 29 more horsepower than the previous model it does a top it has a top speed of 188 miles an hour and these we're just we're just reiterating these things it does 0 to 60 in 4.2 seconds okay let's talk about that transmission we already know it only comes with one transmission there's a six-speed manual transmission it's got a dual mass flywheel it's got optimally tuned gear ratios and apparently it's got a dynamic automatic throttle blip function uh this car the the 718 came in gt4 for 2020 has porsche torque vectoring uh and, and that uses and that is looks like they got an integrated rear differential lock i don't really understand completely how uh, torque vectoring works, but it can control the wheel, the wheel speed, usually the inside rear wheel. They apply a little brake pressure. So like they're saying here, if you're driving the car a little assertively, that means to me if you get a little hot coming into that turn, then this thing can help slow you down and keep you in control. All I know is that torque vectoring, torque vectoring can help you save your car, keep your car on the road. I know more and more manufacturers are offering torque vectoring whether it's performance cars or just standard cars you're starting to see torque vectoring uh coming up so it's a really cool feature it's a performance feature and really a safety feature okay let's talk about the chassis here real quick so real fast because obviously there's a lot of stuff here but they're telling us it's got the gt sport suspension it's got lightweight springs and all that other stuff there uh it's got dynamic transmission mounts there's the porsche active suspension management there's the Porsche stability management. So they put all the racy fun bits on the GT4. They mean business. So here we're talking about those wheels and tires. So we've got the 245, 35, 20s up front. And we got 295, 30, 20s uh, out back. And those out back, those wheels out back, those rims are 11 by 20s. They're wide. That's a wide rear wheel. 295 is a pretty wide tire, especially on such a, a small car. Uh, there's also a tire pressure warning uh, monitor as well, which you're going to really probably want that when you're trying to push this car real hard. You're going to need to know if those tires are up to pressure or not. Let's just brush over the interior real fast. So there's a GT specific sports steering wheel. Uh, they talk about the center instrument cluster right here. And the dial face is in titanium finish and it's marked with GT4 logo. Uh, throughout this, this, this information they're telling us a lot of stuff has GT4 logos on it. Uh, there's apparently also a brushed aluminum interior package. Uh, there's also, you know, I talked about leather saying, hey, I don't know if I want to have just Alcantara. Well, you don't have to just have Alcantara. There's a leather interior. Uh, there's a leather interior with extensive leather stitching and Alcantara. So hopefully not too much Alcantara. So we're definitely going to get the leather interior. And uh, yeah, that's really about it. They're just letting us know. Oh, they're telling us about the sports seats, right? We've got the adaptive sports seats plus, and we're going to get into that and full seat backs. And those full seat backs are made with carbon fiber reinforced plastic. Uh, and that's what makes them look so cool actually uh so yeah that's the interior let's move on to safety okay so for safety they're going to tell us about what the brakes all right so the brakes are big they got ca carbon they got composite brake discs at the front and the rear have a diameter of 380 millimeter cross drilled brakes so you got some really big brakes there's six piston aluminum model block calipers uh you've got you can also option the carbon ceramic brakes 
Don't know how much those cost. Probably somewhere around uh, probably somewhere around ten thousand dollars. And they're telling us that they're about fifty percent lighter than the cast iron discs. And then as far as the lights are concerned, uh, what do we got? We got bi Xenon headlights with integrated LED daytime running lights. Uh, that's standard. You can also option, you know, the Porsche dynamic light system and all that. I probably, you know, as far as I'm concerned, I probably want to keep this car, I don't know, kind of pure. I don't need a whole bunch of extras. The car already comes with a lot, and it's already costs a lot. It's already $100,000. Uh, last but not least, they're letting us know that, hey, this vehicle comes with airbags and the Porsche side impact protection system. Okay, so if you're into, like, taking your car to the track and doing all that, then the chrono package, including preparation for the lap trigger, that kind of stuff is going to be important to you, where you can, you know, check out your laps, number of laps, lap times, all that kind of stuff. And then they're over down here talking about the new Porsche Track Precision app. Uh, it's in conjunction with the Porsche Communication Management, the PCM, uh, and the and navigation module. And this just lets you measure and evaluate your track performance in greater detail so yeah for all you guys or girls or gals or whatever that are into taking your Porsche to the track then you're definitely going to want to be up on the chrono package stuff and all that there me I'm not so worried about taking my car to the track I'm going to spend all this money I'm not going to go out there and proceed to tearing it up uh, so yeah I'll be cool with the navigation and the infotainment stuff and uh, so yeah let's uh what are they going to tell us about that? So there's the Porsche communi uh, Communication Management, the PCM. That gives you a 7-inch touchscreen, uh, SD cards, a 10-gigabyte hard drive that's called Jukebox. You got aux and USB connections for your iPhone. Um, there's Car Connect services via your smartphone, uh, stuff like that. There's navigation, including Porsche Connect. Uh, there's smartphone apps. And what else is there? There's Apple CarPlay. They don't say anything about Android Auto. And then they look like they have this thing called My Porsche. What does this do? Uh, it gives you relevant uh, vehicle data, personalize your Porsche Connect services, things like that. You can find articles that you want to read out loud in your car. Uh, yeah, interesting things. There's a Porsche Connect store. Uh, there's a Sound Plus package that approves the acoustics of the vehicle. There's a Bose uh, and there's a Bose surround sound system. So, yeah, obviously this is a Porsche, so there's lots of features and extras that can be had. Then last but not least, there's Porsche exclusive manufacturer, which really means if you really want to customize your car. If you want to customize your car with exquisite materials, special leathers, carbon, stuff like that, that's what Porsche exclusive manufacturer is about. Okay, so they had a weird way of how they laid out the features. It was just basically a lot of text. Which, eh, it'd be nice if they would have laid it out a different way, but that's cool. We got through that. Now, you know what? Let's actually go check out the specs, and then we'll do the build and price. All right, so here's some quick specs. Here's some engine specs, mid-engine. Uh, we won't go over everything, right? The horsepower, the torque, all that. Fuel consumption, we don't have anything on fuel consumption. Uh, it's got lightweight springs. Uh, poor stability management is, is standard. Uh, the PSM is standard, poor stability management is standard, yep, all that performance, we know the performance, 180 miles, 188 miles an hour, 0 to 60 in 4.2 seconds, car's not very long, it's 175 inches long, it's just over 78, in 78 inches wide, and it's just, it's 50 inches tall, it's 50 inches tall, it weighs 3,199 pounds, and let's see, capacity, front luggage capacity, 5.2 cubic feet, Rear luggage compartment, uh, 9.5 feet. No, I'm sorry, it's not cubic feet, it's just feet. 5.2 feet up front and 9.5 feet in the back. Fuel tank is a 16.9 gallon fuel tank. You got your basic warranty, 4 year, 50,000 mile, 24, or 24 hour roadside assistance. Uh, you got uh, limited paint warranty. You got a limited corrosion warranty. Uh, main service intervals. They offer packages and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, we went through all your, our basic specs. I think we're ready to go do our build in place. Okay, here we are at the configurator, and now we can actually finally see what these colors, the names of these exterior colors actually are. So this exterior color here is white. Let's actually change our slides so we get a better side shot. There we go. Now we've got white. It's a no-cost option. We've got black. It's a no-cost option. Guards red. These are our standard colors, exterior colors for the 2020 718 Porsche Cayman GT4. Uh, and then we have racing yellow. 
no cost option. Our metallic colors all look to be a $650 option. We've got Carrera White, Genetian Blue, which is actually kind of cool. And we've got a metallic, what's it called? It's called GT Silver Metallic. Our special colors, they're each $3,540. Yeah, they do have the chalk. And then there's that Miami Blue. Huh, who do I like? You know what? I think I'm going to do Guards Red. I think I'm going to do Guards Red just because I like the actual, I like the red stitching. I actually like the red stitching on the seats. So we're going to do Guards Red. So that's our exterior color. For wheels, there's only one option. There's a 20-inch wheels. There's 718 Cayman GT4 wheels. There's one option on that. Wheel accessories, we can get the wheels painted. Do we want to paint the wheels? I don't want to paint the wheels. I don't think we need to paint the wheels. I guess they do have them in satin black. We could do the wheels in satin black or the wheels painted in silver. What do the wheels look like in silver? I think I like the silver. We're going to get the wheels painted in silver. Uh, so there's our wheels there. Now, now we got to think about the interior. So interior colors and material. So let's get set up for that. Okay, so interior colors and seats. So the way it's set up now, you got the standard interior, which is partial leather or leather seats. Uh, uh, what do we have? We have the leather interior with Alcantara or leather seats. Um, I don't know about that. I think I like the standard interior partial leather or leather seats. What does that look like? Uh, so what are they going to do? They're going to do that, and we're going to they're going to subtract thirty six hundred dollars off of that. So they're going to do the stitching and deviated color. They remove all that and they remove the Alcantara. So let's go ahead and do that, and and let's see. Does that put us to the leather seats? They don't change the seats. So let's hope that that puts us correctly to the leather seats. Let's hope. Seems like that would be the way to go. I don't know. Uh, I know I do want the eight. I do want the full bucket seats, but can we get the full bucket seats in leather? That's the question. Um, they don't really give us a. Yeah, I guess so. So I guess we still get a little bit of Alcantara down the center of the seat, but we get a little bit more uh, leather, I guess. So I guess we can't get a full leather seat on the 718 Cayman GT4. That is what it is. Seat centers and stitching. Uh, do we want uh, inner door sill guards and leather? Do we want all that kind of stuff? You know what? I'm going to keep these frills down to a minimum, and I'm going to say no. The seat centers and the stitching... They can all stay the same. So it's, in terms of options here, we can see there's a ton of stuff. Uh, I can tell you right off the bat, we're going to skip over the interior Alcantara. We're going to skip over the interior aluminum. So really what I want to take a look at right now is the interior leather. Let's jump to interior leather real fast. Um, let's see, interior trim and leather. Uh, what does that mean? Let's, let's see what this is, if that gives us everything we want. So no, that... Gives a few more things in leather I saw on the dashboard, uh, but that's it. Sun visors in leather, the rest of that stuff in leather. I don't think we need that in leather there. We probably didn't need what I added. But sometimes, to be quite honest with you, uh, Porsche almost gives you so many options, it becomes confusing uh, on some level. Uh, now, this interior trim and carbon fiber, that's 790 and you know what? It does so many things that changes that, you know what? Why don't you just give me a basic Cayman? Uh, interior lumen. We're going to skip over all the frills of changing out seats and colors and paints. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to be real honest with you. I don't care. I really don't care. Uh, I like black leather interior. I don't care about yellow stitching. And I don't care if I've got the Porsche crest on the armrest. I don't care about any of that stuff. So, to be quite honest with you, I don't want to spend more than three seconds talking about it, so we're not. Uh, there's a smartphone compartment. Do we want to upgrade the Bose audio system? Apparently, uh, Apple CarPlay is not standard. So, give us the Apple CarPlay. Give us the upgraded Bose sound system, because I'm all about my music. I want to hear my sounds. I want my technology as far as that, my stereo stuff. Uh, give me the navigation. I want the navigation as well. Uh, I don't need the delivery experience. I think that's where you go pick it up in Germany and all that stuff. Extended indiv in individualization, colors for the leather, uh, special wheels, and all that kind of stuff. I don't care about all that. Really don't, to be quite honest with you. 
don't need a child seat either, and I'm quite happy about that. As far as current accessories, you know what? I'll deal with that after I buy the car. Car's $110,000 out the door. At the end of the day, what I wanted was I wanted a really nice 718 Porsche Cayman GT4, minus all the frills. Yeah, we could have blown this car up to $150,000 or whatever the price is, and guess what? Then it stops being fun. Because it stops being fun when every car that you do has to be super, super, super expensive. And sometimes we just want it basic and fun. Now we have one. This red Cayman, 718 Cayman GT4 for 2020. $110,000 out the door. It was $99,000. It had so many options. I just wanted to sign off on it because it gets too confusing. I think they should lay out their structure a little bit better. Other than that, though, you know what? I love the car. I don't want to have to go through the configuration. I think I'd rather buy one right off the lot so I don't have to do a building price, <laughs> ironically. But uh, other than that, I love the car. Let's get a bigger picture here. Yeah, it looks good. Let's go through these photos really fast. It looks hot from the back. Now, in America, you're going to end up covering up the 718 Cayman GT4 in the back here because your license plate is going to be right right there. At any rate, this looks good. I love it with the uh, with the painted aluminum wheels. I love the red. We've got the black leather interior. I ended up slapping on some other leather stuff on the dash. It's all good. I was going to go with the carbon fiber, but then they wanted to start removing things. And I said, you know what? I'm out. Here we are, $110,000. If you like this simple, no frills, 718 Cayman GT4, give me a thumbs up. Other than that, I'm going to wrap this video up. I'm going to tell you to have a wonderful day, and I'll see you on the very next video. Make sure you take a look at my other related videos that are related to the Porsche 718 Cayman GT4. Many of these vehicles, much cheaper. So if you like all the sport, but you just don't have $110,000 burning a hole through your pocket, check out some of those other videos. Have a wonderful day.